Hello, my name is Sean Brown from Wise and Innovation, and in this Wise and Quick Guide video series, I'm going to show you how you can archive and retrieve data within the Wise and Visualization platform. So, to give this subject a bit of context and where this could apply, you could, for instance, have a node being redeployed and installed in a new location. Therefore, any historic data associated with the old installation, you would be looking to archive and hide that data from any display. So note here, we're not deleting the data. We are hiding and removing that data from the visualization platform. Another scenario may be you've got noisy data after the node was initially transported to site or perhaps during the initial installation period. So again, you wouldn't want that data to be visually displayed and represented to a client, and perhaps you'd prefer to have that archived and not viewed. So the steps to undertake this would be if we go into a project, so initially you would know the nodes of interest. Perhaps you, all these nodes have been redeployed in a new area and therefore you're going to archive each one. I'm going to focus on one called C24 where I know I've got some data I wish to archive at a specific time period. And to do that, we go to Setup, Node Offset. And we scroll down to the type of node. And we can see here C24, select the node. Now it's not of paramount importance that you select all three attributes. By selecting one, the other two will automatically auto be archived. And the same will apply for the retrieval of data. So that is completely user choice, but I will go through the situation where I'm gonna select all three. like so, we press add offset and we're automatically given a graphical display for the last 24 hour period. So this would be data from a new installed position for, instance, for example. And I'm going to go back to a period of time where the node was installed in a previous position. And I'm going to select the starting time period to an end time period. And we press plot. So you can see here, this is data I wish to archive. The next step will be to hover the mouse over the first point of interest, right click, add, start point. Next stage will be to find the end point. Now you can see here they are densely spaced and you might decide this is quite difficult to focus in on a specific point. Then the option here is to press the horizontal axis zoom in, holding down the left mouse button, click on the screen and drag across to the right, and then release the left mouse button. Now I can clearly pick the point of interest. Again, hover the mouse over the point, right click, add and we're adding an endpoint. Now to restore the graphical display back to that that was previous, we press the restore button. The next step will be to right click on the selected data. Now it doesn't matter where you do this. 
So you can see here we have a multitude of options now open to us and the one we're going to use is archive data. We have a little warning screen, we press confirm, the box here that is yellow turns to blue so we've completed the action. You can see here I did this for the x-axis, there's no need to do that for the y and the z as I previously mentioned. You can see all three axes are defined. We press node offset update. We press confirm to proceed. And you'll see this offsetting progress, uh, progress bar will be updated. So this will just take a short moment. That the time period depends on the, the quantity of data, obviously. You can see that's now complete. If we go to the log tab, we can see the entry, the top row entry is just that. And just to focus in on that point, just to prove the data is now not visually displayed. It doesn't matter which axis, obviously, I select. I'll pick the X. I'll go back to ensure I'm at the earliest time period, just to prove. The data is now not represented. So you can still go back in time and select the time period for the, when the node was first activated and use in a project. But obviously the data is not visually represented anymore. So I'm just now going to reverse that process and show you how to retrieve any archived data that you may have mistakenly archived or you'd like to utilize going forward. Now to reverse that step, we would go to setup node offset we go down to the node of interest select the serial number now as I previously mentioned you don't need to select the three attributes all three will combat all automatically and I'll just prove this to you now now I'm just going to select the x-axis we add an offset So we have the last 24 hours of data displayed. We go back to the time period of interest. Press plot. So no data displayed, which is what I would expect. And if you want to see the data that's been archived, well, then please note this button here, which is essentially saying, show the archived data. We click on this button. You can now see the data that was previously archived. We want to retrieve this data. So again, repeat the steps of selecting the data adding a start point adding an endpoint right clicking on the selected data and this time you can see here Restore archive data. The yellow box then becomes a blue box because the action is completed. You can see obviously I've only selected the x-axis. The same process will be played to the y and the z. We press the node offset update. We press confirm. and 
Let's watch the offset progress bar. That's now complete. And just to prove that all the data has been restored, now if I pick the serial number, and instead of looking at the X, which is the, the, the axis I just defined and selected, if I was to pick the Y, I go into the graphical representation, I go back to the time period of interest, And you can see that over that time period, the data is active and displayed. And note here, it is not archived. So this video concludes the process for archive and how to retrieve or restore data within the Wise and Visualization platform.